The Notre Dame boys basketball team is seeded number one in Class C. And for good reason, after the weekend, it's official. The Crusaders taking back the hardware after beating number two seed and defending champions Moravia 65-62 on Saturday. And what a game it was. The Blue Devils able to battle back in the second half, but Notre Dame hangs on and wins out. The Crusaders won the title in 2012. And to get the crown back, well, that feels truly amazing. It feels really good to even be able to come and play in here. And Moravia was a great team, and we struggled a little bit in the second half with them, but we were able to you know, pull through and come out with a win. I think we persevered. You know, we hung in there. Uh, Moravia is a very good basketball team, uh, and we knew they were coming back. We took some bad shots, but we got away with it, uh, and uh, we're very fortunate. So we're real happy. It, it feels heavenly. How about that? Congrats to the team and more hard work ahead. The Crusaders moving on to the state tournament. Notre Dame taking on number three Waterville this weekend at Onondaga Community College. Well, Notre Dame boys, not the only high school team moving on. The Lady Blue Raiders will now go on to the Class AA state quarterfinals. This Saturday, the girls will play the winner of number nine Kingston or top-seeded Austin at Binghamton University. Tip-off time has yet to be announced. To the hockey rink, the postseason is here for Elmira College. The women's team facing off in their first game in the ECAC West Tournament this Saturday against Oswego State. The Lady Soaring Eagles are 2-0 this season against the Lakers, and Elmira hoping to continue that streak. As for the men, EC getting some big-time revenge against Hobart in the ECAC West Semis. With the win, Elmira will now be moving on to the conference finals. And with the championship on the line, EC will be taking on top-seeded Utica College in Utica this Saturday. As for Big Red men's hockey, with their win against Harvard over the weekend, Cornell finishes fourth in the conference and earns a bye through the first round of the playoffs. For the women's postseason run, the ladies heading into the ECAC semis. Sixth-ranked Cornell will now face number three Clarkson next Saturday up in Potsdam. And oh, how the mighty have fallen. Syracuse basketball seeing better days. The latest AP Top 10 poll released today, and the Orange have now slipped to seventh. Syracuse losing three out of their last four games. The Orange are looking to get back to a W, though, tomorrow night in the Dome against Georgia Tech. And you may notice that sports director Andy Malnoski is not here. Well, Andy is out in Cooperstown hanging out with the legendary Frank Thomas. Just to name a few, Thomas is a five-time All-Star, four-time Silver Slugger winner, and most importantly, Baseball Hall of Famer. Thomas is in Cooperstown for an orientation visit, and that is definitely some big-time stuff.